Well, this is Salamancer. You're watching Cell TV, competitive TF2, and if you're as confused as I am about this map, um, I think you're in good company. And I'm joined once again today by Kip. We uh, we tried to cast the Highlander Nations Cup match between uh, between the U.S. and Canada, and it turns out we didn't get to. But Kip, what's going on? Hi, Sal. What's going on? I'm excited about another Canal Zone match. Yeah. So you casted one of these on Monday, right? How did uh, that work out? Explain I did. the map it's a little bit. All right. Well, Canal Zone is um, a domination map, or um, and it's basically four or eight eight rooms and um, a team will win the round if they capture all eight rooms but that rarely happens because there are eight rooms of course so um, what will happen is usually as there are little percentages at the bottom of the map on the right and left in red and blue and that keeps track of the domination of each team so whoever gets 100 percent first will win that round and that's usually what happens instead of somebody capping all eight rooms okay okay and right now of course there's a mini sentry going up on um Whatever room this is, and I don't even know. There's a scout kind of fighting over it. K, K Chaos from Gunrunners taking him down. And yes, this is the Gunrunners versus Menace to Society. Gunrunners, of course, in the red with the GR tag. Makes sense. Makes sense. And in the blue, Menace to Society. We, I did uh, keep the cam on Oplade for quite a while because he was playing a really smart game there. It's like we do have a crits coming in, but Oplade not going to get in position to take on this med. And I think that Moji just wants to hold on to the Uber for a little bit. Might be a crits of their own. Um, but they are in a position to maybe get down and start doing some damage. Okay, the crits is popping out. They're probably going to be able to take down O-Plate on the heavy. Oh, what? They didn't. Oh, but wow. That's yeah, that's unfortunate. So a lot of the action What's probably it? is going to happen around the combo. At least the action we can see. Um, but there's going to be players going for every single point all the time, I'm pretty sure, right? Yeah, and generally the library is usually a big... Um, a big area of action because it overlooks the courtyard or the uh, fountain area which is pretty central and kind of control that kind of control a lot of things so I usually I, find that. I don't think I can find that uh, <laughs> well, you uh, have the map don't you not in front of me <laughs> but oh, right. oh it's a library because it has books in it aha yes 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 okay that kind of makes sense and right now, um, Blue is looking pretty strong as, in control of the library. Miari has uh, crits right here and just holding it right above the um, plank that goes from the library to Oh the... no! In trouble though! Scout takes her down. Ooh. So Menace to Society um, losing a couple players there. I think MTS is kind of Oplate's team, but uh, according to Alain Reed, who was telling me about the game, they... Uh, they were... Being having some player roster issues, I guess, for Menace Society. have been having a, a rough week or two because some of their players, I guess, split off and joined bonus. So it's been a, a bit of a tough season for them, but we'll see if they can end up winning. Right now, the percentage is looking pretty good in their favor. Uh, they hold more points at the moment. Five versus the Gunrunners, three. And Fixer, oh, gets the backstab just before he dies there. Got to watch that happen. Actually, let's watch a little bit of Pure here. It looks like he just wants to play soccer for a bit. But this is, in fact, the real Pure from, uh, from Mihai's flow. And he is going to start trying to get some headshots. Apparently it's his first game playing for the Gunrunners as a sniper. He has descended from the heavens to play among us mere mortals. I it know. is, uh, wow. The control point is Pretty cool. <laughs> but looks like Blue is, yeah, Blue is looking really dominant right here. Um, managing to hold a lot of these points simultaneously. Um, library is under attack right now. And, oh, Muji like went down. Again, yeah. And of course, it's hard to talk about uber advantages and the like on this map because nobody is in the same place at once, so it really is hard to um, keep track of that, that stat. And, um... Yeah, that it is true. It's, I mean, you can say, look, this mid has an uber, so they're probably going to make something happen with it, eventually. They'll find some players, get a crits. It seems like crits is very much the dominant... Uh, Dominant gun of choice on this map for the medic. Drenerian jumping in, trying to get a, a drop on this demo man here, but Zalox is a very good demo. I've seen him play around before, and yep, takes down uh, Drenerian there, no problem. Oplade still kind of playing the smart heavy too. He, on um, on seriously bro this season, has been a very smart player, and in fact, in all of his invite history, he's been one of the smarter scouts, I think. Does pretty awesome stuff. It's interesting to see how that translates sometimes, or sometimes does not translate at all to Highlander, which is a lot more chaotic, and especially with this map, it's just absolutely ridiculous. It is, although I, I will say that Hopeplate is also on the uh, United States team as heavy. Oh, taking another crits here, so this guy, Ooh. what is his score right now? It's got to be ridiculous. It is 22. That's pretty good. Indeed, and that uh, domination percentage up to 47% to um, Gunrunners, 
29, uh, so yeah. Lou's looking really nice right now. Yeah, the menace to society, apparently a menace to the gunrunners. And Ooh. Oplay taking down an NG, taking down that mini sentry, and of course, he makes the smart choice of whenever you can possibly do it, you take down the engineer first. So you can't make any more of those nasty little mini sentries. Nuke Bab here using the gun uh, gloves of running urgently, which means he is going to take just a bit of extra damage here, but he's got a med on him. It doesn't matter that much, right? No, and it actually looks like Gunrunners are making a nice little comeback here, managing cap three points simultaneously, yeah, which so is that, actually pretty impressive because they're all across the map right there. Yeah. Of course, if you're if you're playing, you know, with these little death squads of like three people trying to cap, then you're either going to have to leave your own points relatively undefended, maybe just put like a mini sentry on one of them, or you're going to have to uh, uh, risk running into a, a larger contingent of the enemy team or something that you can't handle. So. Uh, I don't know if you've heard about any strats on this map, have you? Um, honestly, no. Yeah. Um, I mean, the one strat is basically um, keep control of the library and the room right above the library. Right now, we are watching. Well, I'm watching Zalox um, sticky up the library, and he's in the room right above it where there's a little chair, and it's really sketchy looking. But it is a great place because there's glass ceiling that you can look in the library and um, keep control of who goes in there. Okay, yeah, that's earlier. Um, o played in his medic Miari there were hanging out. Oplate actually jumped down through the glass. Miari stayed above it and was healing him yeah. from above the glass. I liked that little play. I don't know if it was common or whatever, but it looked good. Yeah, and sometimes you'll see an engineer set up here, which is nice, and you'll get that teleport and that just basically secures the library as your almost your command center, your base of operations, which is nice to have in this map where it's very, very scattered. There are a lot of entrances, though, so it seems like one demo man, he's going to have to have some good communication with his team, because he can't see all of those entrances, uh, and he can't sticky trap them all and watch all of them. So right now he is looking out to the uh, to each side here. I guess that little side entrance would be tougher to get into, but you could do it as a demo, as a, a soldier. Pure, though, looks like he got a nice little headshot on somebody. Yeah, he did. He took down Mendez. Mendez is not going to be happy about that either, because I know that he likes to play sniper in um, pickup games and in lobbies and whatever else. And uh, he's probably kind of shaking his fist at Pure right now. We just saw the red combo both go down in the library. So, unfortunate right there, their hold of the library is not go Well, actually, they lost the library, and Blue is holding it right now. Um, usually that means Fountain will go pretty quick, and it looks like Blue is taking Fountain right now. Yeah, I, in fact, look at all the points being capped at the moment. It is practically all of them, and that is what's going to happen. I mean, there, there won't be, I guess, as much you know, coordinated fighting going on here. It's really just going to be uh, a bunch of individual deathmatch type battles. It's almost like having a bunch of different MGE arenas that you can just kind of walk into and out of whenever you want. Yeah, except you maybe matched up a scout to a engineer or to a heavy or to a spy. <laughs> that would be pretty cool in MGE. Yeah, it could. It has its benefits, but um, there's a lot of, especially in these warehouses, um, there's a lot of jumping platforms, which if you're on the wrong side as an engineer, you really have no option to um, get to the top and, and really defend yourself. Well, right now we've got a crits about ready to pop, I think. Moji doesn't want to have to use this yet. They should be able to take this uh, point here. I don't know which one it is. And actually, I don't think they want to take the point. What are they doing here? I think the Gunrunners, looking at the times right now, they're fair oh, they're fairly close, but uh, Miari and Oplate were spun up and ready for Nuke Bab. So now the Medic and uh, Heavy for Gunrunners are down. Even now Miari has that crits looking good now. Going to try to... Uh, retain library, pop ah, the crits on. in the where library. Is he? Where, is he? where is he? There we go. Yeah, Oplade just took Pure and um, Steel Python down and wants to finish off this soldier as well. We'll do it. Dranirian gets taken out. Um, looks like it's five to three points right now once again for uh, the blue team. It's hard to tell because of the, the cap timers. It's just ridiculous. Right, and it's the same thing with um, the, like the stand-in map we had uh, last week where it doesn't matter how much time the other team has on the point if the other team is in possession of it, there's no overtime or anything like that. Okay, yeah. And it looks like uh, with a difference of about 14%, I don't even know if it's going to be possible for the Gunrunners to take this unless they all cap, right? It's it's getting uh, it's getting right. winding down. A little bit. So Gunrunners really have to get it together. I, yeah, I'm not looking too great, though. Well, Steel Python's running in to try and cap the library. Laying down some sticky traps, but he's going to have to look in both directions at once here while standing on that point. He does cap it. Uh, Embryo's working on, I guess, the warehouse, maybe? What is this? Yeah, he does capture the blue warehouse. 
And so, Gunrunners, I mean, they're getting closer. Uh, they actually own five out of the, the eight points. They need three more, and Embryo is running towards... Uh, this is the boathouse that he's on, along with his fellow engineer. So, they could do it. It's getting, it's getting you know, time's winding down here. And, blue team, you do see the, the uh, Mount Menace to Society, I'm sorry, starting to cap. They still hold at least two points. Starting to get some captured away from them, but they will take the blue warehouse back. I don't think they're going to have any problem with that. I don't know, Kip. Uh, it's. I don't Ooh. think the gunrunners have this. I don't think so either. Um, well, I don't know. Embryo just capped uh, Red Warehouse again. It looks like. What is that room? I don't know either. Um, but yeah, Library is actually going to gunrunners right now, only at 96% as Menace to Society, and gunrunners are rapidly making up that percentage with all these new caps. Why didn't they do that before, you know? <laughs> I, I, you may ha you're going to have to ask them yourselves. <laughs> <laughs> well, you know, it, it, sometimes you just you can't put the pressure on until the very end when you maybe get like one or two kills and all of a sudden things open up. But this is, I mean, 99% looks like it's going to be about to flip over and Menace to Society will win this round. There you go. 100% it'll swap back to zero. Interesting, you see Mendez as second in points with as Scout, and it's very easy for Scouts to get points on this map because they just run from room to room capping and... Um, I'm, I'm sure Mendez was doing other things as well, but um, that was just my beef with scouts always getting the most points. Yeah, um, scouts don't always do that, but we will be right back and talk about it more in the second round. Well, it turns out that was a nice short little halftime. I like it. Um, what were we talking about? Scouts. Yes. Scouts, I mean, scouts. they don't, you know, they've got to be really good, even in a Highlander setting, um, to, to be top fragging. Let me see, or even second. I mean, that's that is a sign of a quite a good scout. Um, although I guess the scores have reset. Fixer, not really uh, going for anything except a cap right now, and I kind of like that strategy. Gunrunners just say, okay, screw going for fights. We're just gonna go for caps. Um, not working out too great right now. I just saw. Um Let's see who is the demo. Oh, Steel Python just put up an amazing sticky trap on the top of the library and just managed to take down Oplade and um, the other, and Zalox, the other demo, just denying them library in the very beginning. So there was a really nice play right there, and that's really asserting um, Gunrunner's dominance on, um, on library right now. Yeah, Minutes of Society holding on to. This is the trying to actually cap with the medic. She will get away, Miari, or will she? Now getting a little bit of pressure in the waterways, the canals here, but uh, yeah, I think she'll get away. Meanwhile, um, three points held, actually four, is that four? It's four points held by our red team and a society blue team. Gunrunners are now holding... Uh, four as well, looks like they recapped small warehouse. Um, looking like they really want to go for Fountain right now, um, but Moji is really hurt even though he is holding this crit. It's probably going to drop down with with uh, his heavy pretty soon, that's Nuke oh, Bob. Look out, they got something behind him. That is going to be Oplate, I think. And Crits is popped in the library, not doing enough work, though. Well, I think they managed to take down Oplate, which is important. Um, and Drenerian now going for some shots on, I think, this Scout. 53 health left, but they're actually really close to all capping right now. Look at the caps, Kip. It's, uh, oh, look at the wow. caps, Kip. <laughs> I feel like wow, we're, Sal, we're, that's uh, crazy. I feel like we're in airplane. <laughs> oh, Drenerian jumps up. He gets a double kill on Mendez and Cactus to start capping, um, or no, defending this point. As looks like, oh my gosh, oh. what just happened? That is an all cap. That was an all cap. Oh. Wow. Okay, uh, that was probably the shortest round of Canal Zone ever. Be right back. Okay, well, uh, the hero of last round, I guess, Drenerian there with the uh, double kill to stop the capture and win them the round. This is this is a tough map to shoutcast. I just I don't know what's going on. It's it's close to impossible. <laughs> I feel, but that doesn't that doesn't mean we have to give up. It means that we have to find a way to do it, and do go. it awesome. There you go. And Oplade once again using exactly that strat you're talking about, standing in that uh, room above the library. Problem is, uh, Miari is down. Oplade's doing a good job of kind of tangoing here with Nuke Bab around the uh, the book stacks and does manage to take him down. So that will mean a couple of good caps for Menace of Society. Um, and, and, now he's, and now he's peeking out over that little balcony uh, from the library and just taking complete control of the fountain, which again is looks like the way to go with this map. Pretty much does. Let me see, we're going to watch the K-Chaos cam for just a little bit there again as 
Yeah, the high ground over that fountain just makes it so difficult to capture if there is anything up there at all, especially a heavy and medic. Um, Moji, she is looking about ready to pop a crits here, and it is going to be a crits on the demo man. Steel Python ruining somebody's day. So that, ruining that the Oblate and Mayari's day. Uh, just taking down the combo right as they had just capped a fountain area, so a nice execution of the crits right there. And it looks like Gunrunners now on red are going to be able to handily recap uh, fountain. Yeah, meanwhile, we'll Cactus that. and, um, who is that sniper? Garmuth are going to be, uh, holding out here in the warehouse once again, capturing that, or no, the boathouse? Warehouse? I don't know. No, yeah, the warehouse. The small warehouse. And now moving out to the fountain. So they, they don't possess the fountain right now. They're just going to, uh, they're going to be recapturing, I guess. But this is looking really good at the moment for Menace to Society. The percentages are even, but they're starting to get more points captured. So I'm liking it. Um, what I'm not liking is the fact that, you know, if I choose somebody's camera, half the time they aren't even fighting and are nowhere near a fight. But Cactus might get the kill? No! And I think Pure will get saved here, too. I think an interesting feature for this map would be, um, instead of clicking through players, you'd be able to click through rooms. Instead, yeah. be like, oh, something's happening in the arch room, we gotta go there. Um, here comes the crits on the fountain, and... Yeah, and, and that um, was extremely useful for our red team, so they will recap the fountain very quickly. Uh, and right now they hold four points. They're about to lose one. They're about to gain another. It's getting pretty crazy. Yeah, actually it looks like they're going to lose Fountain. The other heavy medic combo nation was just right there to come in and completely obliterate them. Um, unfortunately for uh, Gunrunners. Let me see if I can find uh, the AMC cam here real quick. Because I was told that AMC was actually backing up for Rars. Uh, he just joined the team this season for the Gunrunners. Um, Moji, I think, or Mogi, also just joined the team. This might be the first time she's playing Medic for the team. Ooh, that's a tough map to start playing as Medic. You know, I mean, it's, it is it is UGC summer season, so the players don't have to take this as seriously. They're not even playing for Medic. I don't think they get medals for the summer season. Yeah, they don't. Um, yeah, kind of a shame, but that's okay, as this is... It's a way for them to test out maps for the more competitive fall and spring seasons. So, you know, it's, it's uh, I, I would say this one does not pass muster, but who knows, maybe they'll still like it. <laughs> I think if they ever put this on another competitive rotation, uh, the players will riot, and and something crazy will happen, I have, I have no doubt, because this was universally hated in most of the lobbies um, I played. Yeah, well, I've actually heard a couple of people express positive opinions of it. It's... Really? Yeah, I just don't. As far as a map where you can like think strategically, right. it seems like it's too much of a Charlie Foxtrot to right. have that happen. Uh, right. A Charlie Foxtrot? I'm sorry, I wasn't born in 1950. I don't understand hey. that term. Hey, okay. I, I want YouTube comments telling me that at least somebody validates the fact that I use the term. It's a military term, okay? It's it's military. Right. Okay, whatever. Sure. I was never in the military, but that's what it was. <laughs> All right, we're seeing um, Blue actually come back and take library while Oplate is there with his his medic and his demo. Heavy goes down for Red, and looks like Blue is going to be able to take it. And actually, um, got a little uh, taunting going on in the library from Zalox. Feeling pretty confident. Well, he did just um, pain train Draenerian to death, which is pretty funny. <laughs> Although he I, he only did it because he was completely out of ammunition and had missed like five pipes. So eh. yeah. <laughs> But um, domination percentage is almost completely even right now, so it looks like, um, well, you know that there's the rumor that blue has the complete advantage in the in this map. Really? Yeah, so um, that's actually happened the first two times. The blue team has won. So now that we're seeing uh, complete uh, evenness, actually, um, speaks lots of volumes to the map that, you know, maybe it's not the blue team, it's whoever. It's, it's, the, it's the, the mindset of being the blue team. Maybe. Nuke Bab having to uh, try and eat a sandwich, but getting completely trashed there by Zalox. I was back to the point earlier, this map doesn't really lend itself to too much strategizing. And a lot of a lot of the, the better maps, especially like when we're casting Gravel Pit, you know, yeah, some of the action is slow and the players don't like it sometimes, but there's always like there's gonna be a strategy that you can try. There's gonna be a new new tactic that you can really plan out in advance and you can use it. Miari having to pop an Uber to save well, the crits to save herself here, but that will get a couple kills, I think. Um but yeah, the thing about... Oh, 
nice dispenser placement. The thing about this map is that there's just so many points, there's too much to account for in any kind of strategy that you can think of. Oh, Miari, do it! Do it! Do it. This is going to be hilarious. One Uber saw it. No! No, Nukebab turning around too fast for that, and Gunrunner is getting a bunch of points captured here. Oh, wow, yeah, only Blue only has control of the fountain right now. Balcony is slowly going their way. Well, the, the percentages are tying up once again, and if the Gunrunners can hold on to these points for long... Oh, there's going to be a cap race. Library, if they can stop it... Oh, they can't. They can't. Okay, well, Fountain will at least get captured once again. Oh, no, maybe not. Oh, this is a close, uh, pretty close match here, actually, at the very end of the third round. This is it's just like a stopwatch or something, right? So it's, it's best of three. Uh, yes, it is. All right, all right. And so the, fal uh, the, the Falcon? The Fountain being held by Gunrunners once again in the red. So they hold five right now, but they're about to lose another with maybe a couple more even going down. So this is, it's still going to be even. I mean, it's 61 to 56%. So Gunrunners have had a good amount of time with more points. Cactus coming in with a back burner. Oh, sick. Love me that back burner. And Steel Python get shotgun out here. The control point. Our control point is being captured. By the way, somebody in stream chat mentioning that, Kip, you casted the Ready Steady Pan match. I did indeed, and that actually makes more sense than this map. Um, oh, but it, harsh. <laughs> but yeah, it is a tournament where the only damage dealing weapon is the pan. Alright, we're gonna pause, so give me a second. Alright, pause over. Um, and during that pause, actually, we it was a long one. Um, I was saying, anyway, that if we're going to do a domination-type map, I would prefer to see three points with a lot less openness, more choke points, so that teams kind of have to really think about, or they get a chance to think about how they want to push and how they want to hold. It would make more sense for a map, I guess, but uh, but Kip, what is going on right now? You know, I wish I could tell you, Sal, but um, not completely honest. Well, actually, right now, it looks like uh, Minister Society is doing a nice job of capping recapping their their natural points, is, which is what you call basically the blue warehouse, arch room, library, and the small warehouse. Um, so though they have those under the control right now, and now we'll start looking back, looking forward, and um, pushing onto the red places. But right now I'm watching Fixer oh, getting backstabbed. Oh, no! Yeah, I saw that too. That was uh, pretty much a failure of communication there, as Garmuth was suspecting a spy, but he didn't say he suspected a spy. He threw the Jurati, and he, it was just too late for the Medic and Heavy to realize what was going on, so... That's not good for Menace to Society. Their comms just a little bit uh, need to be better, maybe. And Gunrunner's lost a bunch of players, too, but they've got their medic still alive. Actually, Miari is building Uber. Wait a minute. Who is... Fixer is the one who got stabbed, right? The control point is being captured. Oh. Fixer's the one who stabbed, yes. Yeah, okay, so Miari's actually got a bit of an advantage here on Chris. Not that it matters. I don't even think we should call it an advantage. Yeah, it's... Not much at this point. Or it doesn't mean much at this point in the map. Nope, and Oplade still loves holding this position above the fountain. We'll see if they can uh, make it work, as he is now going to have to actually cap the fountain. Plus, he's eating a sandwich. Not the best time to do that. In fact, I can't imagine a good time on Canal Zone to do that. It's really not, and um, uh, Mario is going for a swim right now. Of course, never a good time to go for a swim right now, and she is actually alone, which is scary on this map, because you can so easily get lost as an as medic. Um, you never want that to be uh, not healing. Yeah, got to be building that crits and making plays happen with it as much as possible. But sometimes as a medic, I mean, if you if you lose your pocket, if you need to escape from something, uh, there are those canals you can just drop down into. And you will not be healing people for a while, but at least you preserve what Uber you have. We are now at 75% on the crits. Moji down to 66. So it is going to be just a little bit faster here. We are in, oh, loses Oplade, though, wherever he was. So who are they going to pop this crits on? Uh, can they even find Zalox? I don't know. Zalox might get is, killed here. Miari's alone, but actually managed to take down the Pyro who is charging her um, with the help of a mini sentry. She's going to be able to have that crits just in time, too, if she can find somebody to pop in on is the question, though. It looks I'm like Archroom is going to red. Funky glitches here, by the way, this this red. And, uh, I don't know if you're getting that above, above the points. Does it look normal for you? I guess it probably looks normal for you. Right? you said something. Probably. <laughs> okay. All right, so who's got this right now? It is actually 92 to 91 percent here, with uh, Gunrunners catching up. I think they've got. Well, do they? No, they've only got. No, they've got five points. So they are catching up. Sounds like a crits goes off. Gunrunners getting some good kills off of this crits, including light off the soldier, but not a heck of a lot. So uh, Kip, who, who's this going to? 
I have no idea. You can't predict it. <laughs> no predictions at all from Kip. No predictions in Canal Zone. But Gunners, um, I, I will say, they've got a, well, they had a lot of players up. And they had a lot of points, and now they're losing points and players. Um, it's 98 to 94. I want to call this actually for the Gunrunners 99%. They just might have it as uh, Menace Society not able to get it. There you go. That's going to be the match with already calling GG, best of three, and Gunrunners won those last two rounds. So congrats to the Gunrunners, I guess, on Canal Zone. It's looking pretty good. Yeah, and apparently uh, Drenarian says that PR gave them a uh, chat during the pause, so that was able to pump them up and get them motivated to win this last round. So there you go, that uh, invite experience coming back to help you. Yeah, I'd like to know what it was he exactly said here, so I might just run the video for a little bit longer until Duran gives us a, a quick idea. Wow, look at this soldier. He has got the craziest beard. It's, uh, it's light off, or lights off? Light off. Anyway, um, so I guess we've made our thoughts on the map known. It's uh, it's a little weird. I think it could I think be improved, it, but yeah. yeah. It has potential. Um, not so crazy about it as Highlander because um, the just the very presence and use of a spy in Highlander is um, sometimes so OP because a spy can just get behind lines uh, so easily. And yeah. in Canal Zone, it's so easy for a spy to get hidden and for teams to call it out that it could be very. Uh, it, it was difficult, and you saw lots of um, drops to that, I think. Yeah, it probably is, and that's probably why the players were using crits too. Not only that mm. they want to charge faster and you know kill a bunch of players, but it seems like everybody's going to be able to get flanked everywhere. Um, I'm not seeing anything coming in from Duran as far as what Pierre told them to make them win the game, but they did win it, so congrats to them, and I think uh, we're going to sign out here. Any last shout-outs? Um, no, just if you're interested in checking out my stream and uh, YouTube stuff, it's YouTube slash Falafel1066. Yeah, and by the time this gets uploaded to YouTube, you better have a thousand subs. <laughs> uh, if you don't yet, then everybody's going to have to go over there and sub right away. Go check yeah. the channel out. Everyone will get Subway. Yep. Subway for subs. I, I like it. You heard it here first. All right, thanks for having me on, Sal. Yeah, it's been good.